So being a woman of color, own business, and being an immigrant has its challenges in the sense of access to capital. But at the same time, like we're really fortunate that we're in Durham. It has this entrepreneurial like spirit, a very gritty spirit too, which I love. There's also this like open arms community that has helped us thrive. Um, and without them, like, you know, we're, we're one and the same. We, we need community in order to survive. And that, that's been very apparent in, during COVID. There's a lot of empowerment in being, you know, uh, a business owner because you're also representing in your community and there's the impact that you have in like others seeing themselves in your business. Especially being an immigrant and a Latina, like I, a lot of our team members are Latinas. And um, in the very beginning, I was a little shy about that. And there's always like imposter syndrome, but like I feel like that comes with just experience of like stepping into your power and really like allowing that magic to take over in the sense of representation really matters. Because we know that and because we experience that on a daily basis in terms of like, you know, always second guessing ourselves, <laughs> um, we see that in others and we want to uplift others. So, yeah.